happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stop your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stop your feet. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, stop your feet. If you're happy and you know it, turn around. If you're happy and you know it, turn around. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, turn around. If you're happy and you know it, nod your head. If you're happy and you know it, nod your head. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, nod your head. If you're happy and you know it, shake your legs. If you're happy and you know it, shake your legs. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, shake your legs. If you're happy and you know it, snap your fingers. If you're happy and you know it, snap your fingers. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, snap your fingers. Hello, welcome to our online class, grade one students. It's me again, Teacher Ray. And today, we're going to read our vocabulary. Let's go. Everybody say, absorb. Absorb. Jeff, next. Okay, next. Is take in a liquid or gas. Environment. Environment. The surroundings or the surroundings around us. Habitat. Habitat. The place where a living, living thing. So these four categories that we're going to learn. Okay, everybody repeat after me. Let's read together or let's have a spelling time. Spell absorb. One, two, three, go. A B. S O R B absorb absorb good job next H A B I T A T habitat habitat good job Next, environment. E N B I R O N M E N T. Environment. Environment. Okay. Next. Last, reproduce, reproduce, R, E, P, R, O, D, U, C, E, reproduce, reproduce. Absorb. 
absorb habitat habitat environment environment reproduce reproduce okay good job okay now this time we're going back for the last last copy it's all about do you know the names of the plants around you, especially in here in Thailand? Do you know a place or do you know the names of the plants around you? Okay, in the picture we have sunflower. Good job. Now, let's have parts of a plant. Everybody read parts of a Land. Name it. Leaves. Leaves. Okay, repeat after me. Different plants have leaves of different shapes and sizes. The main function of the leaves is to make food for them. Function of these leaves is producing food. Okay, look at the leaves. It produces food to the hands. Everybody see? Leaves. Good job. Next. Flower. Flower. Flowers are different in colors and shapes. The main function of the flower, of the flower rather, is to reproduce when the flowers are mature. They become food seeds. Important thing, another important function of the leaves are the, to make food and the importance of the flower is to reproduce, reproduce flowers so we have flowers so we have a tendency of flowers okay next thing fruits and seeds what did you go fruits and seeds okay, the fruit here the fruit consists of a layer of shell or skin flesh and a seed the fruit protects the seed in it some fruits have many seeds which can grow into new plants. Okay, let's go back. Leaves, flowers, fruits, and seeds. Number four, stems. Stems. Stem, brother. Stem. The function of the stem is to provide support to the leaf, holding the flowers and fruits as the stem grows upward. The stem also transports water and nutrients. We need the plants. So look at the stem here. It's color blue. The flowers color uh, orange. The leaves color green. And the fruits and seeds is color red. 
atas atas batu tulis we have roots roots grow into the soil to absorb water and minerals and plants we also hold the plants firmly to the soil these five important parts of the plant name it leaves flowers fruits and seeds stems and root okay next let's move on what are the other plants that you know okay in thailand you have a nation national flower or we call it Rattapuk. I don't know that is the right pronunciation in English, but here I can try my best to read Rattapuk or the national flower in Thailand. Look at here, we had fruits and seeds of Rattapuk. And we have also a stem and plus flowers. Stem flowers. Again, Rachapuk is a national flower in Thailand. Fruits and seeds over here. Leaves over here. Steel stems over here. And flowers. Next, a flower named Jasmine. Jasmine, a symbol of a Mother's Day in Thailand. This is a Jasmine flower. A flower, a leaf, and a stem. Next, Kanna Lili. Kanna Lili, a symbol of a Father's Day in China. Kanna Lili. Flower. Leaves. Okay, tamarind. Tamarind. Okay, what is that? to draw draw a, a plant 
do a glance like this a jasmine flower okay, I want you to draw this in your paper and label name jasmine and label it again put a label Draw this, draw. I want you to draw in your paper, then color it and label. Put circle and label flowers, leaves, stem. Okay? You can ask your father, your mother, or your brother to draw for you. Then put name Jasmine. and then send it to the line so that you can see that you are uh, you draw that plant you draw that flower okay hope you learned something great once students from me time bye